to be plead. Brought me to the gate. They wouldn't let me. I didn't go in. I came to the gates of the third heaven, and, and they, they told me. I watched 50 saints being perm permitted to enter the gates of heaven, but they didn't let me go in. They said, they, they, they stopped me. The angel stopped me there and says, well, I got to the gate, and he says, if you go in, you can't come out. You got to stay till he brings you back. I said, if I can't come out, then that means my phys physical life is over. And you told me I could ask him. And you said, you can ask him, but you stand outside this gate and ask him. And so I did. I came and I, 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 I was allowed to plead my case. So and I was, uh, my, I was, I was pleading to a God I couldn't see. But I knew it was total silence while I pled my case. I was telling him, all, I reminded him of all my good works. I told him about all the things that I'd done, all the things. That, that's what I was basing on, on my, my good work. I told him about all of that. <clears throat> and when, when I, he was, never said a word till I finished. When I finished, then he answered me in a voice that sounded like thunder. Wasn't anything like the voice that Satan had used on him. He says, he started, I'm going to try to quote verbatim exactly what he says. Your faith is dead. Your works are in vain. The life that you lived and offered to me as a life of Christian service is an abomination that I rejected in the Pharisee. What made you think I would accept it from a Laodicean type Christian? In fact, untold millions are living the same kind of life, same kind of life that you live, and they stand in danger of my everlasting wrath, unquote the living God. I couldn't believe he was talking to me. I'm a preacher. I'm a teacher. I just told him about all my good works, what I'd done, you know. And, and, and I said, no, Lord, don't you wait. You don't understand. He said, you didn't do those works for me. You did them for a false god. I said, Lord, I worked for you. I called you Lord every day. Yes, you did, but you never made me Lord. What a difference. To call him Lord gives him a title. To make him Lord promotes him to ruler of life. Who is your Lord? But Lord, I was serving you. No, you wasn't. You served a false god. Then he named him. Satan's number one selling false god, S-E-L-F, -L, instantly. I knew everything he said was true. Had he reached down and picked me up and dropped me in hell, I would have said amen. But I couldn't move. I'm laying on my face spirit in the spirit. I couldn't move. I couldn't move. They came and angels came and took me away. They took me out and let me regain my composure and brought me back and let me plead the second time. Second time, I never opened my mouth. Then he began to talk to me in a compassionate tone as he said to me. Suddenly I realized this is my father and I hurt him. He was hurting for me. The God that created all of this was hurting for me. The smallest insignificant piece of flesh that he had he was hurting for me. Nothing mattered now. I didn't ask him for my life. I didn't ask him for anything else. But when this life meant nothing, he gave it back. 